What's up guys? We all know that the ab muscle is so important when it comes to looking great. So in this video, I'll be showing you some great exercises that's going to make your abs look detailed, defined, and look shredded. The next exercise I'm going to show you is oblate resistor band twist. The same position, the same setup, only this time I'm going to have the band on one side of my body. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the band. I'm going to grab it with both hands. Stay in the same position over my left shoulder. Now I'm coming to the right side of my body. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to squeeze my obliques and rotate the other way. Come back a little and then rotate. Squeeze. Come back a little. Rotate back. Come back a little, rotate back. I'm going to switch over to the other side. Do the same thing over my right shoulder, coming to your left. Squeeze and make sure you make a little pause at the end of the movement. So that little pause is going to ensure that you're activating that muscle and you're loading that muscle at 100%. So this is, um, this is how I do my oblique twist, how I get my obliques, you know, lean, shredded, and detailed. And some people like to use free weights or dumbbells to do this rotational movement. The only thing about that is when you're doing dumbbells because they're free, or you're doing free weight uh, uh, plates with it, it's free. There's no really any resistance coming from it. You're rotating your body, which is okay, but you, there's no resistance coming from it. But when you use, use the resistor band, the resistance band will challenge you in both directions. So that way, you're able to activate your, your oblique muscle at a higher level. Um, give this a try and let me know what you think. The last exercise I'm gonna do is called side obliques leg lift. Even though it's an oblique exercise, like I said, you're still gonna feel your abs a little bit as long as you're feeling your obliques. You got a bench, flat bench, turn sideways, on the left side, you grab the bench with your left hand on this side, left hip on the bench, right hand on the back. So all you have to do is make sure you activate your obliques to get your legs up. You can cross your legs if you want to. Now, most people do this, up and down. That's just too much unnecessary motion. Too much, like they always say, too much drive and no show for it. You're driving your body over and over and over and over, but there's nothing happening in the muscle. And we all have to realize that the reason why we're there, the reason why we're at the gym in the first place, it's not about how many repetitions you can do. It's not always about numbers, like I said earlier. It's about how your muscles are activating. If your muscles are activating on a higher level at 10 repetitions of a specific exercise, then keep it that way. You know, it's not about you know how many repetitions you do because you can do as many repetitions as you can but just because you're working hard doesn't mean you're getting a lot done that's very important you know I see people just throwing their body around in the gym and they're working hard and they're day in day out and I keep looking at them their body's not changing because they're wasting their time they're guessing their way through you don't need to guess your way through your workout anymore go to MiamiMuscleUSA.com all the information you need to get your body the, in the best shape of your life, it's right there. So why do you need to guess around? The blueprint, the blueprint is right there. You don't need to guess your, your way around the gym anymore. Like I always say, people walking around the gym like zombies, um, they get to a machine, they look at the diagram on the machine like, oh, what does it say to do? You know, you're guessing your way around and you're wasting time. You have a gym membership. You're wasting your money. You're wasting your effort. And 10 years later, five years later, maybe two years later, you still haven't changed. That has a lot to do with the way you do your exercise. It's a right or the wrong way of doing something. You want to do it right? Go to MiamiMuscleUSA.com. I'm going to do a few more exercises, a few more reps. Once again, grab the bench, side, back, lift up, squeeze at the end. You can cross if you want. Squeeze the abs and your blades at the end. Make sure you start the movement from here 
and allow your legs to come in second. Muscle, muscle first, motion second. So I always say, feel like you have a, a rope attached to your obliques and you tie the rope around your ankle. So now in order for you to pull your ankles up, you have to activate your obliques first. So instead of moving your legs first and going through the motion, when you activate your oblique first and your legs comes up, your obliques are going to react no matter what. No matter if you do 5 reps, 10 reps or 15 reps. So this is the way it is. You come this way, obliques first. See, I'm not even going as high as I want to. I don't need to go that high. All I'm doing right now, my obliques reacting. So, there you have it guys. Do the right thing and go to MiamiMuscleUSA.com. Get the information you need. The program is there, the training program is there. Specific angles that you need because building muscle is a science, guys. Building muscle is a science. You don't have to guess your way around the gym anymore. Get the proper information about nutrition, the proper information about exercises, the pro proper information about designing your own exercise and program to fit your own body. See what I'm saying? So go to MyMuscleUSA.com, get the info you need. Thank you all for liking my videos and watching my videos. Love your comments and um, keep it coming. This is Mojo Lua from MyMuscleUSA.com. I'm out. Now get those abs shredded. Ah!